Hello again, and welcome to another edition of The Power of Better. I'm Elbert Walters III, Executive Director of Powering Chicago. Today, we come to you from the north end of the Chicago icon, Navy Pier, where visitors can rent boats and enjoy everything Lake Michigan has to offer. The Navy Pier Marina is a recreational boating and technological marvel. This new attraction was made possible in part by a Powering Chicago contractor who lent its expertise with underwater cabling to ensure that this powerful project had all the power it needed. For more than a hundred years, Navy Pier, a jewel of the Chicago skyline, has entertained locals and tourists alike. However, the north end of the pier lay barren, with no attractions for guests until now. Recently opened is the new Navy Pier Marina, where boaters from all over can dock here and take advantage of all Navy Pier has to offer. The marina also rents party barges and private charters like this wooden beauty. This ambitious, years-long project was the brainchild of Randy Podolsky, a lifelong Chicagoan. I came up with the idea with Navy Pier to do a transient boat marina versus build another residential marina to compete with the Chicago harbors. Nobody needed or wanted to do that. I wanted to bring unique visitors to Navy Pier. And to do so, I had to go through the bid qualification process with Navy Pier, Inc. first, and then state and federal agencies. Podolsky was tasked with hiring a team to build a marina, which required specialized skills. This included building a dock with 19 fingered piers consisting of 8,000 linear feet of side-by-side -side docking, driving 172 pillars into the water and providing power for each station. The electrical portion of this seven-month construction project took nearly three months and was completed by Powering Chicago contractor MJ Electric. Because Navy Pier remained open for patrons, special considerations like pedestrian safety, traffic control, and space limitations required prefab to help alleviate the complexities of this construction project. We needed our prefab warehouse basically to lay out all the cable, coil it up, put it in crates so it could be lowered down to the dock so the guys could install. We had all the substation and switch gear sent out to our prefab where we um, prepped it, had it all ready to drop in place. When the materials arrived on site, the 40,000 feet of marine cabling had to be delicately installed underwater, many times on docks that were constantly shifting in the water. So what we ended up doing was we stretched it out on the dock itself, and then we pulled it up through underwater conduit that stubbed down into the water approximately five feet on each end, and then we slowly lowered the cable down into the water after that. Like I said, it was a little bit of a learning curve. It probably took a crew of five guys to do each cable, and we ended up having a total of six cables we had to do. Safety and expertise are paramount for any project, especially where the public water and electrical equipment are concerned. MJ Electric's union electricians installed all of the ground fault protections for this instance. So you have GFI protection not only at your pedestals, you have it at your secondary gear, and you have it at your primary gear. It's a double, triple, quadruple check. The installation is advanced as it's compliant with 2026 ground fault requirements. The result is a state-of-the-art boating experience like nowhere else in Chicago. Another satisfied customer with the work of a powering Chicago contractor on a project that is certainly a welcome attraction to Navy Pier. MJ Electric's been fantastic to work with. They're super informed about their product. They're very knowledgeable about, obviously, all things electric. And they were extremely supportive and cooperative in working together to get everything built on time and on budget. Just the fact that we built something that not many people could build. This was probably one of the top five projects I've been on since I've been in the trade. It's just fantastic. As for Navy Pier Brass, this new addition to the north side of the pier is a game changer of which they are already seeing the benefits. It's just a new opportunity to come to the pier. What I saw on the first weekend here were boats from Michigan, from Wisconsin, and even from Maine. There's what they call loopers that go throughout the Great Lakes. 
and they stop at major cities. And without having this asset here available for a one hour, for a one day, for a two week stay, was a huge miss for the city of Chicago. We'd like to thank Navy Pier Marina, MJ Electric, and Navy Pier for partnering on this project with us. It's just another example of a high profile demanding project that is being led by a powering Chicago contractor and local 134 union electricians. I'm Elbert Walters III, and for everyone at Powering Chicago, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time.